now during this hour, we are speaking with artist Chris Turi. Chris, how you doing? Great. Thanks for coming out so early this morning. I, no, thank you, because what's cool about this place, guys, a few years ago I had the privilege of showing you how Chris creates his artwork, and it's simply amazing because, I mean, welding and steel and just, you know, the copper, it's, it's everything comes together to create wonderful, wonderful works, which you're going to see in some video here. But let's talk about the three-man art show this weekend. The three-man art show is uh, paint and patina, we call it, and it has three artists in it, Cassidy Watt, Michael Copen, and myself. One of them's a painter, and one of them does metal. Uh, copper and steel, and I do copper and steel and brass and everything mixed in. The colored metal is the sheet metal off of car hoods and doors. Come out to Corrales, see the great art. We've got three fantastic artists and some other art shows going on in the community, too. Seriously, guys, when I was here a few years ago, I mean, if, if you look in the, in the back creative area behind Chris's studio, um, you know, there was like a hood of an old Ford F-250, right. which in its heyday was a great truck, but now, you know, it's living on because it's going to be turned into art, right? That's exactly right. It's living on. Uh, my backyard becomes my palette of all the hoods and fenders that I go out and seek in people's yards and clean up the desert at the same time. Exactly. Well, and people coming here will get to see things firsthand, right? Absolutely. This will all transform into a small gallery, and all the sorrows will be shown here, and it'll be absolutely fantastic. Got to come out. Michael Copeland may be doing some painting while he's out here, too, so it'll be a good show. Wow. Uh, let's get into a little bit of the inspiration while everybody's looking at your creations here. What, I mean, where, do, where does it come from? Uh, the Native American culture has always been what I love about this state. It so, uh, doesn't have a lot of people in it. And the culture, they always left such a soft footprint. And so I take some of their images and put it on mine and then transform the old to the new and then back and forth again. And it, my work looks aged a little bit already from the techniques that I've in incorporated in my work. And that's what I was kind of noticing with one of them was it almost looks like you left one piece out in the rain to kind of let the water drip down and make the rust effect. Rub I do. I created a rusting chamber to give it that effect. Oh, okay. And so... Uh, I put it out there and I get that streaking effect and it emulates the petroglyphs on the caves and the overhangs. Over years and years the mud slides over the petroglyphs and that's what I'm shooting for and it's turned out really nice. Exactly, exactly. And so you guys out there will have a chance to see this firsthand this weekend. Let's give some folks some times and all that good stuff. Well, we're at 10 to 5 at the studio and you can Google Chris Turry Art Studio and it'll bring you right to the location. You can go to ChrisTurryArt.com and there's a link to the uh, Paint and Patina website pulls all the information together for you right there, and we'd love to see everybody come out, have some snacks. We have biscuitos freshly made, and it'll be a great time. Bring the kids, bring everybody. You had me at biscuitito. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, and, and I mean, guys, uh, like uh, we've been able to bring to you over the course of the last few years is that, you know, when we show you what's happening and, cre and what's created over here in Chris's studio, you have a chance to actually come here yourself, physically come here where we are standing right now and see these wonderful creations in person and get to meet Chris and the other artists because you're going to get to kind of pick their mind a little bit about how, you know, these creations come to life and, and see it firsthand for yourself. And I, I kid you not, guys. This is one that you really want to check out. So uh, we're going to toss it back to you guys at the studio, and then we are going to pack up and head to location number two. So yeah. stick around for that. Sounds Thank good. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so much, David. Make sure to keep it right here and go back out live to David around to 830.